out of the way. We're losing him. We need to stabilize him now. Hold on, Dad. You can make it. Uh, I'm here, Dad. I'm right here. If I don't make it, I have one wish. What? What are you talking about? It's not your time to go. Do this for me, son. I want our family to be together. The brother and sister will need you now more than ever. We need help here. This isn't looking good. No. Just, just, just stay with me, Dad, okay? Just, just please. Everything's going to be okay. I, I love... Dad? Dad! No, 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 please! Oh, no, we lost him. I'm sorry, but you have to leave. We need the room. No, I can't, I can't just leave him. Leave now! No! Dad! I promise, Dad. I promise. Maybe they brought him back. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe he made it. Uh, doctors, they save people all the time, right? Oh, come on, come on. Then... I have some bad news. No. No, please. You have to save him. You have to just do something. I'm sorry, Ben. Despite our efforts, we couldn't bring him back. He's gone. You had one job to do, and you couldn't save him? What kind of doctor are you? A great one, but that's it. I'm a doctor, not a magician. Sometimes, no matter how hard we try, situations are out of our control. So... What am I supposed to do now? Just just move on with my life? He was my dad. How could you tell me just to deal with that? I don't know, Ben. You're an adult. Figure it out. Like I said, your dad is dead. Deal with it. <sighs> wow. I have to be strong. I have to take care of everything now. I've never planned a funeral before. How do people do this? Okay. I have to figure out what to bury dad in. I think he looked best in his blue suit. And maybe the gold tie I got him for Christmas? What was that? Ugh, where is it? Brad, what the heck are you doing here? Wait, are you trying to steal from dad? I just want some things, that's all. It's not like he needs this stuff anymore. Wow, that's low, Brad. Even for you. Shut up, Ben. You're always so perfect. You know what? It's your fault he's dead. What did you say? No, it isn't. I did everything I could to save him. You should have done more. You should have saved him. Brad, that is not fair. You just don't get it, do you? You're dad's favorite. Always so perfect. And I was nothing but a big messed up loser to him. Uh, is that why you hate me? Because you felt like dad loved me more? It was dad's dying wish that we stick together as a family. You, me, and Bella. Yeah, good luck with that. I want nothing to do with you, Mr. Perfect. And Bella wants nothing to do with either of us. So it looks like you're going to fail dad one last time. Shut up, Brad. Make me! Ah! Ah! I found the Rolex. You're not burying dad with it. It's mine now. Dad, you really had a tough final wish, didn't you? I had to figure out how to fulfill it. <sighs> okay. Here goes nothing. Hi, Bella. Ew, gross. Did anyone see you out there? Uh, no. Hello to you, too. I came by to let you know that Dad, he passed away, Bella. Oh, man, really? Wow, that's sad. Yeah, I was with him until okay, cool. the end. I've got things to do now, so you can go. You don't even care, do you? Of course I do. But if any paparazzi catches me with some random poor loser, they might think I'm not famous anymore. Get over yourself, Bella. You're my sister. I have 30 million subscribers on YouTube. What do you have? I don't know. Compassion, maybe? <sighs> Whatever. You're so judgmental. No, I'm not. You just got famous and started thinking that you're better than everyone else. And you even stopped talking to your own family. Well, I'm definitely not talking to Brad. He just tries to get me to give him money. So trage, honestly. Bella doesn't have time for a poor family. Can you stay out of this conversation? Super tragic and pathetic. Dad's last wish was for us to just be a family again. It's all he's ever wanted. Look, Ben, you're my brother and all, but I have my own life too. And it's really busy. We all have our own lives, Bella. Just... Can we at least try? Okay, that's enough. I'm sick of this loser crying. Get out! Bella, I hope one day you'll realize what truly matters. Because all of this doesn't. Can't believe he's gone. He was the best dad in the entire world. I hate you.
loser. What's your deal, Brad? This is all so stupid. It's such a waste of time. I just want to get my part of dad's money and go. That's just so messed up. How can you look yourself in the mirror saying that stuff? Just leave me alone. Then stop confronting me. Uh, wait. Bella? Bella, why can't you even stand with everyone else? I'm here. Isn't that good enough? No, it's not. Dad would have wanted us to support each other, not just hide in the shadows. It's always been what dad wanted for us, huh? Dad always pushed me to be perfect and to be the best at everything. It almost feels good to not have that pressure anymore. Yeah, dad wanted that because he wanted the best for you. And, and look, it made you rich. But it didn't make me happy. I'm sorry, Bella. We need to talk. You, Brad, and I about dad after this. We're family. And even if Brad is being a jerk, I'm still here for you. Thanks. And maybe you're right. Maybe we should talk. For now, let's honor him. Don't go yet, okay? There's something I have to do. Uh, thank you guys, all of you, for coming. It's hard to think about my dad not being here with us anymore. He was the strongest person I've ever known, even up until the end. He taught me so much, and I hope to carry his strength with me throughout the rest of my life. Thanks for coming, guys. Feels weird being back here again. Yeah, I know. I feel the exact same way. Yeah, well, there's still at least some cool stuff here. Don't go claiming it all, Ben, okay? This isn't all yours. Dude, do you really think I care about any of this? Brad, this is about dad. This is about our family. I don't care about this stuff. Well, speaking of stuff, if you don't want it, then that means I get it all, right? Are you serious? Is that why we're here? To talk about money? No, uh, Brad, it's not all of yours. Dad wanted us to be a family again, so that is why we are here. Well, I want money, and that's why I'm here. That's not fair. Why should you get all the money? Well, it's not like you need it. Just because I'm rich? Well, I should get way more stuff than either of you two. Enough, guys. Look, we'll sell everything and split it equally, okay? No way. Bella has her own fortune. I have nothing. Why should you get all the money when you don't even have a job? Stop fighting. So you two brought me here just to tell me you're stealing all my money. Nice. You are the best siblings ever. My gosh, don't you guys care about each other? Don't you guys care about any of this? We were once all happy together. We all grew up with each other. Look at each other. What happened to us? I'll tell you what happened. Bella got spoiled rich and you became a crybaby. You can completely forgot about me, like everyone else does. You two never help me That's out. It's because you're always getting involved in stupid things, Brad. Yeah, Brad, the last time I saw you, you literally stole my credit card. Well, I was gonna pay you back. With what money? Stop it with the money and let's just talk. Whatever, I'm out of here, you guys suck. What? Yeah, I'm too rich for this nonsense. Who cares about a hundred grand? I spend that in a week on sushi. Sorry, Ben, but this was a terrible party. A party? We didn't even talk! Oh, come on! Hey, thanks for having me over, Ricky. I really needed someone to talk to. My brother and sister are driving me insane right now. Yeah, of course, man. Family can be really overwhelming sometimes. I get it. I just wish I had a family like yours. They all seem to genuinely care about each other. I mean, your family is actually here getting along. Yeah, I, I consider myself lucky, but remember, every family has its own struggles too. We're not perfect, if that's for sure. I know, I, my dad wasn't always perfect either, but he tried his best. It's just that my siblings never seem to understand that. They're just really selfish and they blame him for almost everything. Family's really important, Ben, and they're the only ones that you've got since, you know, mom passed away and now your dad. I know. And it was my dad's dying wish that we would become a family again. I have to make it come true for him. I owe it to him for taking care of me for, for all of us all of these years. Just give it time, Ben. Rebuilding those connections takes time and effort. It won't be easy, but I think you can do it. Thanks, man. I appreciate you. It's going to be tough, but I'll just take it one step at a time. Yeah. Now, come on. Just enjoy the party. So, you're positive you can get this price? Absolutely, Ben. I'm the best in the business. I'll make sure to market this house to its fullest potential. Wow, it's a great house. I mean, I grew up here, you know? Lots of memories. Yeah, that's wonderful to hear. This looks like the perfect house for a family of four. Plenty of room, nice backyard, and fully renovated. 
Yeah, my dad put a lot of work into it. He was very proud of this place, but just make sure you sell it to a good family, okay? Someone who will appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, well, I can't make any promises about who buys it, Ben, but I'll do my best. Well, here you go, Ben. This is a payment for the sale of the house. Thank you. Ah. <sighs> Goodbye, Dad. Ben, this house can't be your father. It's just a property. No, uh, uh, of course not. But, uh, I mean, this was my dad's house where I grew up. Uh, yeah, well, now it's going to be someone else's house. It's time for you to move on, Ben. Now let me do my job and sell this bad boy. Dude, I told you to stop coming by like this. Look, I just, I wanted to bring this for you. Money? What is this for? It's for you. Um, we sold Dad's house. Oh, awesome. Thanks, Ben. Uh, you're welcome. And I'm going to give Brad his share tomorrow, too. Thanks for taking care of all of this, Ben. You've always been the most responsible one among all of us. I know I'm the oldest one, but, like, I'm so busy, and I don't have time for any of this. I may not say it often, but I'm proud of you. You've built an amazing life for yourself. Thanks. I don't hate you, you know. Life is just complicated. Yeah, no kidding. So, what are your plans now? Well, I'm thinking about starting a business on my own or something. I don't know. Time to explore new paths. I mean, Dad started his own business, so I figured I would try the same thing. That's really cool. I, I really hope it works out for you. Yeah, and I know you're probably busy, but maybe sometime you're free, we can go grab some coffee. Um, you know, I used to get coffee with Dad around this time once a week, and every time it was just a nice bonding moment. Yeah, I guess we could. I think I can fit it in my schedule. So, do you want to go now? Uh, yeah, <laughs> sure thing. Cool. You drive, I'll buy. And remember that one year, Dad hid all of our Christmas presents, and then he said the Grinch stole them? Oh my goodness, Brad absolutely lost it. He cried for an hour until Dad said it was just a joke. <laughs> Oh, man. I'm really glad we talked, Bella. It feels good to reconnect. I know I'm always doing something, but, but we should make an effort to be in each other's lives more often. I really missed you. I've missed you, too. Brad? What the heck? What did you do to my car? You two sold Dad's house, and you're keeping all the money to yourselves. I saw Ben leaving with the bag of money, so I followed him. Brad, I have money for you, too. I was going to give it to you tomorrow. Yeah, right. You two are just liars. All of that money should be mine. What the heck, Ben? Why did you do this? Me? I didn't do anything. This is why I don't want to be around you guys. Every time we get together, something like this happens. You are all so toxic. I can't do this anymore. I have my own life. Goodbye. I can't believe you, Brad. Shut up. No, did you call the cops? No, I didn't call anyone. Yeah, you did. You're just trying to get me in trouble again. Ugh, I'm out of here. Are you serious? Great job, Ben. You really fixed that electrical issue. Thanks, Percy. I appreciate your business. Come on, Bella, answer. Hi, it's Bella. Leave a message after the beep. Uh, hey, Bella, it's me again. I just wanted to see if you had any time to talk. I know you've been busy, but I've been trying to reach out to you, and I guess I'll just try another time. All right, uh, take care. Wait, uh, Brad? What are you doing here? You haven't returned any of my calls, Ben. Yeah, because I've been busy with work. Well, good, because I need money. Wait, you spent all of Dad's money? That was hundreds of thousands of dollars! Yeah, well, whatever. Tried making some investments and it didn't work out. It's not my fault. Investment? I'm not gonna give you any more money. That's not how I operate. Come on, man! You want us to be family again, but you can't even help me out when I'm in need? What's wrong with you? I want us to be family again. That doesn't mean I'm just gonna give you handouts. That's not the way it works. Look, if you want money, then I have an offer for you. A job. Job? Seriously? Yeah, you can learn how to do electrical work. It'll give us a chance to spend time together, and you can earn money at the same time. Well, I do need money. Yeah, fine, whatever. Great. I have a job tomorrow at 9 a.m., and I'll text you the address. We can start from there. Okay, sounds good. Just don't be late. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I told him not to be late. Ugh. Come on. We have a job to do. Uh, I'm here, all right? Let's just get this over with. Hey, uh, 
Uh, thanks for coming, Ben. Uh, I've been having some uh, trouble with some of the lights. I <laughs> uh, can't seem to get them working at all. Uh, no problem. We'll take care of it. Just uh, give us some time. Okay, cool. You know, uh, I'm just gonna go on my little daily walk here and move my legs. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Remember, Brad, today you're here to observe and assist me. This work can be dangerous, so don't touch anything without instructions. Yeah, whatever. I can figure it out. You don't have to babysit me. I mean it. Safety first. You need to learn the skills before you can start working on houses. All right, fine. Whatever. Uh, Brad, can you find the electrical box in the garage? I'll start working in the other room. Yeah, I'll go looking for it. Got it. Must be this stupid thing. I can fix this so easily. Ben just doesn't believe in me. Watch this. Huh. Uh-oh. What have I done? Brad? What did you do? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Where's the exit? Ugh. Uh, what happened? How did I end up here? Yeah, what happened, Ben? Are you just like a complete idiot or something, man? I was just out working out my calves, and I returned to see that you, you burnt my house down, you lunatic. No, wait. I, I didn't do anything. I hadn't even started working yet. Glad you're awake. I have started in the garage next to the electrical box. Someone messed up pretty bad. Some dumb electrician. Ha! <laughs> See? Yeah, you're just like a liar, dude, and you suck. Your, your business sucks. Your lying sucks. You're, you just suck, man. Like, I, I, I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry about all of this. It wasn't me. I'll take responsibility, and, and I'll make sure to, to cover all of the damages. I thought you were my friend, but, but no. You're just a liar. How could you do this? I promise, Quimby. It was my stupid brother. He's the one responsible for this mess. I just, just get out, all right? Get out. I never want to see your dumb, stupid, ugly face again, all right? And I mean it. Hey, let's calm down, okay? We can just talk about this. I said get out of my property now, all right? Or I'm going to, like, punch you or something. So you think Brad intentionally burned down the house and then just ran away? I don't know if he did it on purpose or not, but he can be a bit of a moron sometimes. You tried calling him at least? Uh, I wanted to, but look, I'm really mad about this entire situation. I gave him one chance and he repaid me by burning down a customer's house and then just ran away. <sighs> Poor Quimby. Yeah, that's a tough spot to be in, man. I mean, it's understandable why you're upset. I just wish my family could be a, a little bit more normal. No family is truly normal, Ben. I mean, my mom is super overprotective. My brother loves to play pranks on us. What's important is that you guys are there for each other no matter what. Yeah, you're right. I just, I need to go find Brad and sort this all out then. Thanks, Ricky. Good luck, man. I do hope everything works out. Oh, Bella just posted on her channel? What? Oh, no. This isn't good. That's right, guys. My agency just ended my contract. I worked so hard, and now it feels like it was all for nothing. Maybe I should see Bella first. Oh, what do you want? You're not allowed to be here. I'm her brother, Donovan. Let me in. I'm sorry, but Bella's not seeing anyone right now. She's in a fragile state. I'm not going to tell you again. I need to talk to my sister, so step aside. Hey, what? What are you doing here, Ben? Coming to revel in my misery? No, I came here because I care about you, and I, I want to make sure you're okay. Does it look like I'm okay? I'm done for. I'm losing millions of views and dollars as we speak. It's a really tough situation, but I don't want you to go through it alone. I'm here to support you. I'm your brother. If you really want us to be a family, then prove it. How? What are you talking about? Help me get my agency back. Then we can talk. All right. I don't know how, but I'll do my best. I promise. We'll see. Don't disappoint me again. All right. Bella needs her agent back. Let's hope I don't let her down. This is so stressful. I feel like I'm feeling dad more and more. It shouldn't be this hard for just all of us to come together. Wait, what? Did that come from my kitchen? What the heck are you doing, Brad? This is my house. Oh, sorry. I 
I didn't think you were going to be home. So you just break in? That's not how this works. Yeah, so what? I'm broke and I'm hungry. And I haven't even got a paycheck from my stupid boss yet. You burned a guy's house down, Brad. How, what, what, do you expect to be paid for that? And then you ran and then ignored my phone calls. You're never working with me again, man. Just uh, consider yourself fired. Are you serious? You're going to fire your little brother? I thought dad told you to always take care of me. No, dad wanted us to be a family again. Not for me to consistently clean up your messes and bail you out. Me doing this to you is taking care of you. Fine. You won't give me money. That's how it is, huh? Ignoring dad's wishes. Well, I hope it feels good to live with that guilt. Please get out of my house now. Fine. This house sucks anyways. Your food does too. Yeah, that's right. I want my yacht to be ready by five, so don't mess this up. Excuse me? Uh, are you Bella's agent? I used to be. What do you want? I wanted to talk to you about her. She's going through a tough time right now, and, and I think she needs your support. You need to take her back. Look, kid, I don't have time for this. I've got bigger things to worry about. Bella was your biggest client, and dropping her is probably going to be the worst mistake you're going to make. Oh, you think so? You're her brother, aren't you? Yeah, so? The story's about to break about you and your business. How you both burned a house down? That's not going to help Bella's career, is it? Look, that was my little brother's doing, not mine. You can't blame Bella for that. I genuinely don't care. I care about making money. And if Bella's not making money, she's not my priority. You're heartless, man. Bella deserves better than someone like you. Yeah, well, I'm awfully rich. So get out of here before I have security kick you out. Okay, thank you. Bye. You know, fine. I'm leaving, but mark my words. She's going to be more successful without you, and you're going to live to regret it. I don't care. I'm going on my yacht. Bye, poor person. I got to find a better way to help her out. What have you done, Ben? Look at the mess you've made. What are you talking about? All I did was talk to your agent, just like you asked me to. Well, I didn't ask you to do this. That's right, everybody. This is breaking news. Reports have surfaced about the brother of famous YouTuber Bella running a fraudulent electrical business. If her brother is such a terrible person, really makes you wonder what she is like. Am I right? <laughs> We'll be back to wildly speculate and roast Bella in five minutes. Look, uh, that wasn't me. It was Brad who burned the house down. Look, I'm just trying to fix things. It doesn't matter who did it, Ben. The damage is already done. Thanks to you, my career is totally over. Uh, I'm sorry. I never meant for any of this to happen. I was just trying to bring her family back. Well, congratulations, Ben. You're doing a fantastic job at destroying everything. That's not fair. What's not fair is everything I worked so hard for, everything dad made me go through to be successful, it was all for nothing now. Just get out, Ben. Pella, don't be like this. That means you do what I say. Now go. All right, we're back with the roast session. Let's go. I don't know what to do anymore. I I'm trying. I'm trying my best to, to fulfill your wish, but... Feels like I'm just messing up everything. I want our family to be together, but it's just, it, it keeps slipping through my fingers. I'm sorry if I'm not living up to your expectations. Uh, whatever happens, whatever I can get done, just know that I love you. I love you with all my heart and, and I'm doing everything that I can to make things right. I'll continue to honor your memory and strive to, to be the person you believed I could always be. I won't let you down. This is so ridiculous. My brother thinks he's better than me. He always has. Dad definitely thought so. Why aren't you more like Ben? Blah, blah, blah. Pfft, I'll show him. I need money and he's got plenty of it. It's time to level the playing field. Stupid truck. He needs this for his dumb business. Well, I'm gonna sell it and make some cash. This will teach you. You should have never fired me. Whoa, the truck is actually coming fast. Oh no, you don't. Seriously, the cops? Ugh, no! Oh, no, no, no. I'm not going back to jail. Ugh, no! Oh, I can't do anything right. Hey, that's my brother in there. I need to see him now. Sorry, buddy. 
Don't care if you're the king of Roblox. No one's allowed in right now. But it's my truck he stole. I don't want him to get into more trouble, okay? I won't press charges, so you can let him go. Look, I don't care if it's your truck. This guy is a wanted criminal. We found stolen items on him, and he's wanted for multiple robberies. Been looking for him for years. Wait, seriously? Years? I had no idea it was this bad. Didn't even know your own brother was a criminal? Wow, great brother, huh? Hey, he just doesn't tell me what's going on. Well, now you know. He's going downtown no matter what. Fine, I'll meet you there then. How long will it take? Gonna take some time. Your brother's pretty hurt. We'll let you know when he's stable. Okay, just please take care of him. We'll do our best as long as he cooperates. Go home for now. There's nothing you can do here. Where is Brad? He's in the emergency room. They won't even let me see him. Oh, they're gonna let me see him. Get out of my way. Wait, uh, Bella? No, he robbed me and then crashed your car. Do you have any idea what kind of image this is gonna send to the public? If that crash didn't kill him, I'm going to. Bella, uh, our brother could have died. He's in the hospital right now, okay? We need to help him, not worry about your public image. Brad deserves whatever he has coming to him. This is his own fault. He's such a loser and I'm so over this. We can't just abandon him. He needs our help. We need to be there for him. I've been doing my best to be there for the both of you, but you guys are making it just so difficult sometimes. I'm making it difficult? Whatever. I'm not even supposed to talk to you until I get my agent back. Yeah, that's all you care about, right? Your agent? We're family. Our brother is in trouble. He could have died today. And you're only thinking about yourself. Did you even know that he's been stealing just to get by? I don't care. That's his choice, not mine. Just tell me when I can see him. I need to give him a piece of my mind, stupid idiot. How am I going to fix this now? What is your problem, Brad? Why would you steal from people? I needed the money, okay? It's not like you care or understand. I, I don't care. I I'm here right now. Look, stealing is never the solution. You can't justify your actions like that. It's so easy for you to say. You're always the perfect one. Dad's favorite. After mom died, dad just ignored me. No, dad didn't ignore you. He was doing his best to take care of all of us at once. I was the one that had to step up and take responsibility. But that doesn't mean he loved you any less. Well, it sure felt like it. He never put any responsibility on me. He didn't trust me with anything. Good idea, too. Just messed that up as well. <sighs> Dad did the best he could in a tough situation. Look at yourself now. This isn't the way to deal with your feelings. You have to grow up, man. Not everything is dad's fault. I know I messed up, Ben. I'm scared and I don't know what to do. Messed up so much that I don't see a way to fix this. Look, I'll do what I can to help you. But you really messed up this time, Brad. This is your chance to turn things around. All right, visiting time's over. Shut up and get out. I'm gonna do my best to help you. I promise. But if you waste this chance, I won't be there to bail you out. You'll have to live with the fact that you failed our dad and yourself. What do you mean you can't get me in? Do you remember who I am? Nobody cares anymore? Uh, rude! Hey, are you okay? No, I'm not okay. I'm becoming less famous, and I don't even know who I am anymore. Is that what you wanted to hear? No, I just wanted to see how you were doing. Well, I'm not okay. I'm basically a nobody again. Well, fame shouldn't define who you are, Bella. Well, it's a big part of my life, and now it's slipping away. I don't even want to think about it. What do you want anyway? <sighs> this might sound strange, but I was wondering if you can help me bail out Brad. Are you serious? That loser robbed us both, and now you want me to help him? Let him rot in prison. That might teach him a lesson. He's family. I think he did it as a cry for help. He needs us. No one ever helped me when I need it. I worked super hard on my own because I had to. And now look where I am. Look, that's why we both need to be there for him, okay? We can make a difference in his life. I, I believe in that. He'll always be a worthless loser. That's harsh. How can you say that about your family? And remember how close you guys were as kids? What happened to that? Why are you just so angry? Because everything in our lives is messed up, Ben. Our relationships, our careers, it's falling apart and I hate it. And that's all the more reason not to throw away the one thing we have left, each other. Fine, Ben, whatever. I have so much money, so it doesn't even matter. Just please stop talking about this. And if Brad ever robs me again, I'm coming after you for the money. Fine, Bella, I don't care, but we both have to go to the police station to get him out. We have to do this together. Ugh, uh, fine, let's go then. Thanks for getting me out of there. That place sucked. 
Seriously? Is that all you have to say? Do you have any idea how much money that just cost? Look, I'm really sorry for what I did, Bella. I messed up big time. Yeah, you did. And this is the last time, Brad. I'm never helping you again. After today, you do not exist to me. But how is that different from any other day? Oh my gosh, you are so ungrateful. Guys, shut up. No, I don't care what you want. I care about what I want. And that is, I don't want to be around you losers anymore. That's not fair, Bella. I was just in a bad spot. I made a mistake. I'm not a loser. You're always in a bad spot, Brad, because you keep doing bad things. You never learn from your mistakes. You're so stupid. Yeah, well, you're just a spoiled brat. Let's calm down. This isn't helping anyone. I swear, Ben, I've learned from all of this. I, I really want to change. I don't want to hear it. Just stay away. Away from me! Gosh, what is wrong with her? She's going through a lot right now, and I don't know. You know how stubborn she is. Yeah, well, I do want to change. You believe me, won't you? Look, I want to believe you. I really do. But right now, actions are going to speak louder than words. Yo, you seem really down, dude. What's going on? Look, just no matter what I do, nothing seems to work. I try to help my siblings, but feels like I'm constantly hitting a wall. I get it, man. And your siblings, they're tough. Changing people's lives take time, too. Especially when it comes to your family. Don't worry, you guys will make up and everything will work out. Look, I wish it were that simple, but I feel like I'm the only one that wants this. Bella only cares about herself, and Brad, he doesn't seem to care about anything. I try so hard, but sometimes it feels like it's not enough. Well, I'm sure they care for you, Ben, but they definitely need to show it better. That doesn't mean they don't appreciate you and what you do. I hope you're right, Ricky. It's just hard when it feels like I'm carrying the weight of our entire family on my shoulders. You're doing your best, Ben, and that's all you can do. Thanks, man. I appreciate you for all of this. It helps have someone who just listens. Yeah, of course. Remember, you're not alone in this. Don't give up. This takes time. Hey, uh, Bella, how's everything going? Oh, hey, Ben. My career's doing better thanks to your constant pestering. I finally sorted things out with my manager. Oh, that's great to hear. But I was actually asking about how you're doing personally. Like, how's just, how's life treating you? I guess things are okay. Just trying to stay focused and make the most of it. Yeah, I understand. I mean, you're always a hard worker. But you know what's coming up, right? Am I getting an award or something? No. It's gonna be the anniversary of Dad's death. Is it really? Wow. I completely forgot. I want to get together. The three of us. You, me, and Brad. It's important to me. Ben, you know I can't forgive Brad that easily. Every time I've tried to help him, he's only managed to ruin it. I know it's hard, but this is for Dad's sake. Can you guys just put your differences aside just this once? <sighs> Fine. Whatever, Ben. I'll come to dinner, but don't expect me to suddenly forget everything that he did. Thank you. It means a lot, and I figured we could chill and play some games. And by the way, I'm totally going to beat you at Jenga again. You beat me? Okay, we'll see about that. Wow, nice place. Yeah, it's all right. I mean, it's a roof over my head, so I can't complain. I mean, I'd never thought I'd see the day where you had your life together like this. I'm proud of you, man. Well, I think the accident was a real wake-up call. It made me realize I needed to straighten things out. I'll say. It's been quite a journey for both of us, huh? Yeah. So, what's going on? I mean, you didn't just drop by to comment on my newfound stability, did you? Actually, I came for a certain reason. Look, I've invited Bella out for dinner, and I want you to be there too. Me with Bella? Yeah, no dice, bro. You know how things go between us. We're gonna end up fighting, she's gonna get mad, call me a loser, and run away. I know, I know, Brad, but hear me out. It's the anniversary of Dad's death, and I want us all to be together for him. He would have wanted that. Yeah, I don't know. It's not easy for us to be in the same room without arguing. Please, just give it a try. Let's put our differences aside for this one evening. For Dad, we owe him that much. Yeah, that's true. All right, I'll try it for dad. But if she starts getting annoying, I swear, Ben. She won't. I, I promise. Thank you, man. It means a lot to me. I'll see you at dinner then. Yeah, well, if there's food there, I'm there. We'll make this work. I promise. It's time for us to just come together as a family again. Thank you, guys, both of you. Look, I know we all miss dad, and I understand that things haven't been easy for any of us, so this means a lot. Yeah, except for Bella, right? Hard for us, but she's always had it easy. Shut up, Brad. You're just a loser who can't even get his life together. That's it! 
That's it. Guys, one night. I can't do this with you anymore. Just, just please. Ben, Ben, stop. You're embarrassing me. I don't care if I'm embarrassing you. No matter what I do, you both can't see beyond yourselves. You've always been so selfish. Bella, all you care about is your following. And Brad, you just seem to always want to get into an argument. We've barely been here for five minutes and the two of you already hate each other. What do you mean, dude? I'm trying to change to be better. Bella is the one with the issue. What? No, I'm not. You started. You guys are both giving in to it. I don't care what you guys have to say anymore. It's just one night. I asked you both for one night, and I thought after nine months, things would have changed, but I guess I'm wrong. You don't want to be my family. You guys only care about yourselves. Enjoy your chaotic, miserable lives. I'm out of here. Come on, Ben, wait. We're trying to change, I promise. Ben, please, don't go. I'm sorry, Dad. I tried my best, but Bella and Brad, they, they don't care. There's nothing I could do. Oh no, uh, this storm is bad. I can't even see. I'm losing control. Ah! Ben? Ben, come on. Come on, wake up, dude. Come on, Ben, please. <coughs> oh my gosh, he's awake, awake, oh my gosh, Ben. Dude, you scared us half to death, man. Wait, you guys saved me? Of course we did. We're family, Ben. 